Well, I was actually driving to the movie theater with my niece and got a phone call the day that they did the biopsy to tell me that it was positive for breast cancer. Um, I wasn't too surprised because I kind of had a feeling it was. Um, I was misdiagnosed the previous year, so that was kind of frustrating. I knew that it was, but um, it's a good thing that I was with my niece when I got the call. And she, uh, we kind of pulled over and we talked about it a little bit. And then we decided we'd still go to the movie. And it ended up be, <laughs> being a movie about being in your 40s and getting older and all these health issues. And so I pretty much cried through the whole movie. <laughs> but nobody was there, so they didn't see me. <laughs> I called, I think I called you and my sister the next day and told them over the phone what was going on. Um, I think it hit them harder than it hit me. My verse in life has always been um, 2 Timothy 1.12. I know in whom I have believed that he is able to keep that which I have given to him. And I just, even though you go through hardships right and left, you still know who's in control. Mm -hmm. So after the shock wore over, and the good Lord and I had a few tearful discussions. It was, you just lean harder. Well, I showed up for my first day of chemo, and that did not happen. Um, instead, we went over my PET scan results, and basically my torso looked like somebody took a paintball gun and just shot me up. Now that, it was all just lit up. That was hard for your mother to take. <laughs> and that was, that was yeah. very concerning. Um, but after more tests and more biopsies, it turned out to not be all cancer. But they hit, they decided to go at the breast cancer hard, which went after everything else hard. To get the final note that I am actually cancer free, it's good news, but it was also, okay, so now what? <laughs> What's going to happen with the rest of everything? Um, and at that point, I could still walk. I could still drive. do drive. I could drive. do almost any anything at mm -hmm. that point. Mm -hmm. um, but it was two years after being cancer-free uh, when I ended up having blood clots from the torso down. Uh I had had reconstruction a few days before the whole blood clot episode. Um, and mom was visiting to help me after that. And she basically pretty much was in charge of everything, calling the ambulance, getting the neighbors to come help, trying to get me down the stairs because I was not coherent at all. Um, the ambulance drivers told us later that they did not think they'd get her to the hospital. Her leg was turning as purple as her shirt. Uh -huh. She couldn't, I mean, there was just nothing, the heart rate, every, bug caught, everything was just Everything down, was shutting, shutting down. Shutting down. Yeah. So, so we called family and friends and Christians and they started praying. Mm -hmm. So the Lord honored her life. Uh, it's not been the same, but. It's been bittersweet. I'm, I'm thankful that I am cancer free. I'm thankful that I still have my legs, even though it's a chronic pain. Never, never a free moment of pain. I mean, it's always, always there, but gotta choose joy through it all and just keep fighting. Then my mom had to come and move in and Oh, you heard that. She, I had to come in. She had to come in. The Lord gave me a peace of mind one day just standing in her where she was, and I just felt that was what God wanted me to do. Her her daddy had passed away, and I was kind of footloose and fancy free. And I don't know about fancy, but um, <laughs> I just felt a peace. That's what we needed to do. So we went out looking for a, mot a hotel or an apartment or something to live in that didn't have stairs because she cannot do stairs. 
and good Lord led us here. We mm -hmm. have neighbors that are all believers right now. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. And we're close to church now, so it's great. It's great. Yeah. I think the biggest thing I've learned through all of this is to let people help me. I, uh, I guess I had a lot of pride before because I didn't want help. I could do this all myself. But I'm learning to say okay and thank you. There's been huge blessings for going to Evergreen and having my mom here. Mover. Yeah, she calls me her mover. My mom Uber, <laughs> my driver. I, and I don't say this with any unkindness, but this child has been the one that's allowed me to pray a lot harder than others. And uh, I knew there'd be a little challenge. Um, and I've tried to, to back off as hard as much as I can. <laughs> I joke and say that I often go through the day and, okay, God, I need love and grace, love and grace, love and grace, because I love my mommy. <laughs> and yet, I know that I irritate her to pieces a lot, but uh, yeah, it's you, you have to choose. You have to choose to be better and not bitter. And even though we're the odd couple, she's Felix. I'm the messy. She's the clean freak. Um, <laughs> yes, I called her a clean freak. Uh, you just have to choose joy. You just have to keep things light and laugh through mm -hmm. everything. If not, you're just going to cry and be sad all the time. And that's not fun. Mm -mm. <laughs> First Corinthians 12, 18. But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. And that's the local church. And then the, when one suffers, they all suffer. And when one is happy, they're all happy. It's, we've seen that so much at EBC. Mm -hmm. And in there, it was talking about the body and how the body works together. And, you know, you put, you've got to have the, the arms and the legs and the the feet and everything, it, he, he puts us together and he puts us in the body that he wants. Uh, we'd visited EBC one time and had uh, met Dusty and Bethany Arndt. Arndt, yeah, and they, they met us that Saturday night, both sat with us in the back row, I mean, just made it be like family. And I just kept praying, Lord, if this is where you want us to be. And she just fell in love with the pastors, and that's, that's history. <laughs> It just been a beautiful. When uh, you can ask a pastor, "What your name's Matt?" You get walked on all the time, and then he just laughs back. That's the church to go to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've been so blessed in ways that we can't even explain. Um, this church has shown us love just immensely. Mm -hmm. They're so very thankful. Meeting Kathy and Vicky, they were the cookie ladies came over to visit us they pretty much cinched it for yeah. me I instantly just fell in love with them and they're amazing ladies and now we go to Vicki's ladies group well Pastor Toby <laughs> make Kristen. me cry now Pastor Toby and Kristen have been phenomenal um they've helped with building ramps making ramps for my threshold ramps so that I can get into other people's houses. Um, they've brought cookies and cute little minion toys for me. <laughs> um, they just come over and they pray and they we've been able to be blessed by Cadence Please who came over to the house and sang for me in my room. It was amazing. Pastor Toby set that up. Wow. They've just been fantastic. They have true shepherd's hearts. Yeah. We, we so appreciate that. Yeah. No judgment. Mm -hmm. Just encouraging true, pure support. Mm -hmm. That is just, it's been this one, though, amazing. She doesn't know how to not be friendly to people. I mean, you can be walking down the street and she'll see something. Like, Hi there. And I'm going, oh, man, you know, <laughs> forget it. I guess there's just go. But no, not Jenny. Uh, Somebody came to church with us and they said, you know so many people already, and it's because of her. <laughs> and I'm thankful, it's good, it's good, it is. I like people. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're very appreciative for all the blessings that the church has done for us, huge blessings, but it's also hard to not give back. I, I want to give back, but I'm also mm -hmm. limited on what I can and can't do. Um, and I wear her out all the time because she's taking care of me 24-7.
so it, it's hard to receive but man has the church just been amazing it's changed my life just fantastic you know it says that we how we were asked how do we or how are we able to give back uh, one of the ushers after I was praying about this uh, met us and he says I just want you two to know that I can be down down just you know and yet I see what you guys have gone through and yet you come in on church to church with joy in your face and a smile on your heart and I just thought you know maybe that's a way we can give a little bit just a little bit I would say I would say cancer was a real eye-opener for me um, I went through a rough rough divorce and uh, in a way cancer kind of brought my kids and I back together and that was you know that's again the word bittersweet um, it's it's been a tool to where I can talk with anybody about having that experience going through it um, I have friends from the chemo room I have nurses that I'm still friends with that I'm able to talk to and witness and um, I just mm-hmm. she's stronger I think she's I am closer, stronger closer to the Lord now than, than when I moved in I think not, not my anything I did but what I've seen her in her growth my life verse has always been Philippians 4.13 and have I been mad at God for this? No. I Do I want to go home in at any time? Anytime you want me to go home, I'm ready. Anytime, that'd be great. Um, I, my mom's been a great example of Christ's love. Um, my family's been very supportive. Um, to have a down moment, of, yes, of course. To have everything that's going on interfere with plans, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard, but I don't think that, I don't think that God did this on purpose. I don't think it was his fault by any means. I think that he allowed it, I think that he's allowed it just to show that even though there is pain in this life, you can still have joy and inner peace. And that's what I've had throughout all of this is I know his hands over it he's got it in control my mom did Romans 8 28 raising us for five kids and I think all things all things work together for good Mm -hmm. you know the suffering that you go through the 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 joy the it doesn't mean you you know I've, I've always heard people who were dying of something even cancer I mean how they never Complained. They were just bubbly and happy with it. With, I'm thinking I could never be that way. Never, never. Yes, you can. But she's proved joy can come. It's a choice, and it's a choice of leaning on Jesus. When our our my first daughter passed away, and the, the night that we got the message of that, the quartet at church was singing, leaning on Jesus, just you know, finding more power than I ever knew. It's just, just people don't believe in Jesus Christ, and yet again, I couldn't live without Him. Yeah. I cannot fathom going through this without God. No matter how sad or pain things can get, He's still there. It's amazing. It's a good God. To being able to just let go and believe in God and let just feel his love and that's I that's what I totally feel now being in Evergreen I feel his love the through love, everybody love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your all mind, mind and with all your strength yep and that's what it's all about it really is mm-hmm. <laughs> isn't she cute <laughs> mama <laughs> gosh that's cute
patience. <laughs> have patience. Have, have patience. patience. Don't, Don't be in such a hurry. hurry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a BBS too. <laughs> right. And here's part four. Full <laughs> <Well>, yourself. <laughs> she acts for yourself. <laughs>